Well, thanks to Shirley Lynn for this shot showing some of the ice and snow in Maine. Just a dumping taking place out there. So Shirley sends us this shot and just look at those wilting trees and things like that. So that was in Maine. Look at this, a number of cities and towns in the foot of snow club uh, with a foot or more of snow. Bryant Pond, Maine, around 13 inches of snow. Near Wilton, Maine, 12 and a half inches. Chesterville, 12 inches. Pittsfield, 12 inches, and so on and so forth. You look across the Northeast, you can see central sections of Vermont and New Hampshire, uh, even into eastern New York, and then all the way up in toward Maine. There's where uh, that 13-inch report near Bryant Pond, Maine, is located. And there's those 12-inch reports also as you look further into the north and east. So here's what things looked like then as we headed through Sunday and then in toward the early sections of the day today. There was the rain and then snow started to really kick in over the higher elevations and as colder air got pulled in, and then you saw it move toward the north and east. Now as we switch gears, you can see our storm threat for today. So snow moving out of the northeast, uh, but some light snow showers moving in over the upper Midwest and the northern and kind of Great Plains region. Uh, so we've been watching some of that. You focus back in over Montana, and you're still talking about winter weather advisories for a couple inches of snow, blowing snow over North Dakota and eastern Montana. And then also a winter storm watch that goes through midweek, and that's where we're talking about the potential, at least, for around 6 to 10 inches of snowfall. Uh, so you broaden the view out. This is some of the snow for this week, and you can see the first round and then also notice this is using the European computer model. It shows actually a significant dose of snow uh, potentially out in the northeast. How about this? Today's low in Embarrass, Minnesota, down to minus 40 degrees. So stay tuned to weatherbug.com for more.